We've seen four properties so far, three flats in the Leon Sea area and one house in Central South End. Our buyers are set on living in the right location, even if they get less space for their money. So it's back to the seafront once more. But from now on, we'll be sticking to flats. First up, we're in South End's conservation area, close to the sea and just a half a mile from South End Station. It's a Victorian conversion on Wilson Road, a ground floor flat at a good price of £79,995. It's been stylishly modernised with wooden floors in the living room and two reasonably sized bedrooms. Living room at the front, Dion. Right. Good proportion room. Nice size room, definitely. Like the fireplace. I thought you'd, I thought you'd like the fireplace. The working fireplace, Those bricks definitely. really nice. Sash windows, these are actually in very good condition. Mm -hmm. um, but because we're in a conservation area, if they ever needed to be repaired, you'd get a fairly significant grant to do that. Right, and okay. interestingly, the same would apply for the um, iron railings that are missing. They would have been melted down in the wall. Things are hotting up in the kitchen. Ewan's dead set on having wooden floorboards. The important thing is that it's a leasehold property and it's very probable within a lease there will be a clause which will prevent you from having exposed wooden floors. But here you're on the ground floor. There's no one below you. I think you might get away with it if you wanted to lay wooden floor. There's wooden floor in the sitting room already. I don't suppose there's any chance of a sea view. Well, it's more of a sea glimpse there, Dion. When the tree moves. <laughs> <laughs> this street, like many others in seaside towns, has quite a number of hotels and bed and breakfasts. If you're thinking about buying a property in a street such as this, do be aware of them. Think about how much increased noise will there be, coming and going of people, will there be a parking problem? And always be aware, would it affect your resale? I mean, yeah. it's cheap, 79,000. But then you're overlooked by a lot of people. It's no place for naked sunbathing, is it? Not really. Not for us. No. Let's go no back place. inside. I reckon so. OK, being close to the sea is good, but that flat just didn't feel right. Further along the coast is the up-and-coming area of Westcliff. Will our last choice fit the bill? It's a ground-floor apartment in a converted Edwardian house in Westcliff Avenue. It's got two double bedrooms, loads of space, and it's well within budget at £82,950. What's more, Westcliff train stations are stone's throw away, and the sea's even closer. Nice high ceilings in here. Definitely. Yeah. This is a lovely big, big room Very. with windows across almost one whole side. Love the wooden sashes. There's one thing which is worrying me in this room. Mm -hmm. That is where the front door is. Yeah. I'm going to leave you here mm -hmm. and go around the front and open and close the door a bit and you okay. just tell me whether you See can hear it. See if I can hear it. it. OK. Did you hear anything? Mm, we could hear the bang. What we actually heard more than bang was footsteps going through the hallway. <laughs> or a baby elephant running <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> now, there are 11 <laughs> flats in this building. Oh, if each of those flats has a minimum of two people living in that, that's 22 bangs. On a Saturday night, that's, that's a, a lot, lot of bangs. <laughs> Moving swiftly out of the bedroom, Kirsty, this flat could meet all our couple's requirements. All the rooms are light, which they like, and outside the flat even has its own parking space. Well, you and not much of a garden, I'm afraid. Not the biggest, no. no. But we have managed to find you a car parking spot. Very useful, especially around here. But it is quite a busy road, isn't it? And a bus route as well, so that's standing against the flat. And just down the road is the concert hall. With the Coast Pavilion, there could be a lot of traffic at uh, weekends for concerts and things, and through the week. So that, that might be a, quite a serious issue, I think. The area is right, but the immediate location might be a problem. So, does it score points? I like the size of the rooms. They're all quite sizeable, mm -hmm. and it's very bright with all the windows. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, I think it's a good price. Which We're is close a, to the station. I think it's in a really good area as well. What I don't like is two major roads, which are quite noisy. So we've shown our couple five flats and one house. One flat was useless for naked sunbathing. Another had small rooms that needed work. One had great rooms but was on a busy road. 
Another was their ideal location, but with an unusual layout. Only one flat had a garage and the house was in the wrong place. So are we going to get any second viewings at all this week? We let them sleep on it and meet them bright and early the next morning. Are there any that you feel like going back to? Love Doyle's Drive. Definitely. Yeah, that, that's our favourite, no mm -hmm. doubt about it. Why don't we organise a second look? There's a number of things that Kirsty wants to work out for the, uh, the size of the rooms, mm -hmm. what's going to fit where. I'm going to be interested in how is the building managed, who's responsible for what sorts of things. Okay. okay. Second viewings are all about scrutinising the property. If you have any niggles the first time round, this is the moment to have a closer look. Still feels as light, doesn't it? Definitely. And, and as big. Yeah, exactly. Straight away, we found a bit of a problem. This is something that's been worrying me. Do you see What's the that? paper has lifted here? Uh-huh. It's all flaking. Mm -hmm. And it looks as if it's papered over some damp problem. I don't think it's a major thing. I'm going to have a quick look out the window. You can't see that much from there, but I think that it is a problem with the guttering. And you'd want to make a note of it for the surveyor get so that he was in. sure to get access right. to the roof so he could see what the problem was. OK. But other than that, I think this room is fantastic. It is. The back extension of the house obscures part of the entrance to what would be our couple's garage. Kirsty would never make that. It's not huge, the kitchen, but it's pretty good, it's isn't it? It's a nice size. It's comfortable with two people in it. That answers your question, doesn't We've it? We've got gas, not electric. For a lot of people, it's a major worry. They say, you know, <laughs> we'll only buy something which has a gas cooker. It's a major worry for you, because I refuse to cook on electric. So. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at empty rooms needs imagination. Think, would my furniture fit? We marked out a standard, a queen and a king-size bed with room to spare. And the four in the bed and the little ones <laughs> 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 Dion wanted to get more of an idea about the people involved with the property, the neighbours and the freeholder. Does he come round and look after the building? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. He's excellent, yeah. He's really good? Yeah, very good. Oh, that's good to know. That's, that's good very, to know. Very, very good. <laughs> On a second viewing, it's worth taking time to get a really good feel of the place and its proportions, because the next time you're there, it could all be yours. What would you like to do? We'd like to put the, an offer in. Excellent. Kirsty? The asking price was £5 short of 95000 Here we go. We decided to start bidding at 93 Right, I think, Kirsty, to be honest, the vendor was really looking for, uh, if not the full asking price, uh, just, just slightly off the, uh, the asking price. So, what? just to let you know. 2000 off it is, wouldn't be enough? Would, would be too much, yeah. Right. Do you think there's any point in you putting this offer forward just in case, given the good position that they're in, chain-free, etc.? Yeah, I can do that, but just to let you know, I think she was looking for, sort of for the, uh, the full asking. The estate agent came back to us very quickly. £93,000 was not enough, so was that going to count us out? Uh, yes, there probably would be some common ground there, but it would have to be taken off the market tonight. Literally, it would have to be a three-week exclusive and that would give them time to have it surveyed, to have the papers, to have everything tied up. They, they would go at 94, but I think it would have to be a situation where they felt that they were paying in order for it not to be seen by anybody else. Well, we thought that would be it for the day, but then the phone rang again. Adam, hi. Great. OK, thanks so much. Bye. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, £94,000 accepted. Oh, well done. Well done. We're looking at four weeks from now to completion. We must be able to do it by then. But Shall I we? see no reason why we shouldn't be able no. to get it done. What a result in just one weekend. So, how's the sale going? been all systems go we've got the mortgage sorted out had the survey done and we're just waiting for local authority searches yeah we've opened a joint bank account to uh, look after the mortgage and bills and things and I've transferred all of my money into your bank account which is great 
and yeah, we're just waiting for the searches. And we're really excited about the move. We can't wait. We're thinking about how, how we're going to put things, where we're going to put things, and, and what colour the walls will be. And we're looking, getting brochures for sofas and beds. We'd like to settle in one spot.